Yesterday I said most embarrassing fart story. I hope that the wind is not blowing over the mic. Funny fart wind, get it? I wasn't trying to be funny. Here's one I could think of. I, I don't really get too embarrassed with that type of thing, but I do remember a time. I was in Colorado. I was our fam my family was leaving to come back to Texas and I was in the ninth grade. Okay, there was a girl I really, really liked that I went to school with, and I had, had a crush on her for a while, you know what I mean? But um, I was kind of shy. You know, I was popular, but I was shy. Uh, anyway, we um, were all hanging out at my friend's house. He was, had the hangout house. He had a pool table. He had, like, the lower level of the house was him and his sisters. It was really fun, and lots and lots of time was spent there. And... We all go over there, and it's a few days before I'm leaving. I'm saying all my goodbyes, and we're trying to get together and hang out as much as possible. And this girl shows up, and she's, you know, we're all kind of in a, a circle of friends, but I never really, like, talked to her, you know what I mean? She was just friends of friends, and, you know, we all had, you know, blah, 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 blah. We're there, we're playing pool, we're in the hot tub, we're back and forth, we're watching TV. I remember I was laying on the ground, or on, was I, I was either on the ground or on the sofa, on the carpet or on the sofa, and she came up, and I was laying down, like laying on my back, and she comes up and sits on my belly, like sits, like, you know, you know people were piling, like dog piling on everybody, and she comes up and she sits right on my gut, and right when she does that, Talk about wanting to die and I remember everybody just laughed like at first it was like it got quiet of course everybody's like and of course I was like what no it's the sofa needless to say we laughed it off and that was it I left a few days later, but that was one of my most embarrassed. I was finally like, oh my God, I'm gonna hang out with her. What are the chances that she's gonna come hang out with me? We're gonna make out, we're gonna kiss, we're gonna, you know, something's gonna happen, and then I farted on her. I moved away and I went back once for Christmas and I never saw her again. I think we're friends on, so on Facebook. I don't know uh, what got me thinking about that, yesterday but that's my story but that leads me to another story what well it's not really a story what was your first real job mine was at the Olive Garden and I remember I kind of uh, what what brought this on was I remember I had quit work already but they invited me up there that afternoon because I worked days and nights um, as a busboy, it was my first real job at the Olive Garden, and the uh, other busboys and some of the waitresses and the hostesses, you know, I was cool with them. Everybody was kind of cool. That we opened the Olive Garden, it was built from scratch, and we were the first crew hired. So everybody was kind of cool with each other and stuff. And uh, a few of them had invited me up there for lunch before I left, and uh, I did. I went, and I remember I had eaten. Uh, fettuccine Alfredo and breadsticks and it was you know I remember they stuck me out like a box of those little mints those chocolatey mints that you get before you leave and I stuck them in my bag and I well, I left and, and it was really cool but I mean that night I had Alfredo farts damn it so leads me to an embarrassing story that happened to me at the Olive Garden now uh, I was a bus boy and I was working one night, and it was, I don't even know if it was busy night or what, but 
I was in charge of one half of the restaurant. There was another bar, a bus boy on the other side who was in charge of the other side of the restaurant. A couple comes in. It was uh, just him and her, probably on a date. I know they were, you know, old enough to drink, so they're probably at least 21. And they were drinking wine, and he had his back to me, two-person table. And where I was p- posted up, you know, waiting for, you know, to bus tables and stuff was right in, across from this girl you know like the aisle was here the table was here I was we were you know like really, I was looking I was 10 feet from her if that and uh, they're talking and she I'm the only reason I did this is because I noticed that she looked, looked up at me and we made eye contact and then she smiled and I was just like huh how do you do it? How do you do it? Every instinct I've ever had, everything I've ever learned from watching movies and how to flirt and how to ask girls out and everything went blank. I was no expert. You know what I mean? I had two girlfriends at this point. Total. And long story short, because I know I'm boring as hell, she looks up at me one more time, and I decide to give her a wink. And she looks, and I wink. And she spits her wine out and starts cracking up. I fuck, I lost it. I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. And I ran into the kitchen. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I was I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. How am I going to go back out there? There's no way I can go back out there. I quit. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to walk out the back door. I'm just, I'm done. And and one of the waiters who was extra cool was like, what's wrong? And I, I told him and I was like, I winked at that girl and she spit her wine out. And, and, he, and he just laughed and he was like, dude, just chill out for a minute. I'll bust a table, go hang out on the other side and work, or or go to the other end of the whatever he told me. I, and I avoided him. And then he finally comes back and he's like, dude, they left. But uh, she was smiling and laughing the whole time. She was, you know, like the guy thought, I don't know what the guy thought, but oh gosh. I was so embarrassed, Galen, ladies and gentlemen. It was, eh. Why did I call y'all ladies and gentlemen? I'm See, I'm still embarrassed by it. Okay. So if you don't have a good fart story, telling me your most embarrassing date, flirt, your most embarrassing flirt, flirting incident. How about that? Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. I still got lots of work to do on that painting back there. Not lots, but enough. I think that some of the things just need to be gone over with a lighter color and it's always something, you know. Anyway. Uh, have a great night. I'm Max Dean, the farter, the flirty, winky farter, and I'll talk at you later. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. If not, subscribe anyway. I mean, why not? What's wrong with you? Talk at you later. Bye.